This is the best secret Notion trick I have ever had. So I manage a pretty hefty content calendar here. You can see it's pretty large. And I have an editor who wanted to improve the workflow of what we were doing. So I was like, how do I fix this? How do I make this a thing? Because what would often happen when he was editing these videos is that there would just become so many properties at the top here because I have it auto linked to my thumbnails to the actual file that gets rendered. And it's really hard to manage that and the script and the description and the tags also being in there. And what was happening before was that you'd actually have the view for something like this be absolutely grotesque for the top of this page would just be disgusting. You'd have to go this far down before you could even get to the section at the bottom where the script would be. So what did I do to solve this? I utilized something called a self-relation filter. Let me hide these out of here, gross. So it's no secret that when you use a linked database that's within a template, it auto links and relates to whatever template you're in. If you relate it to the template, anytime you make a new instance of that template, it will auto filter to that new instance. But a problem is if you're using the data from the exact same database, how do you then get it to filter to that same item. It doesn't really make much sense, right? And a big thing for me was also trying to solve that new project and subtask situation going on. Cause what if you didn't want to view it from like an outside view? You wanted to like have a large page view of the project you were working in with subtasks as that is a new feature. And this solved that problem as well. So really quickly, you can see that that Google Drive link and thumbnail folder are filtering to here with a self-relation filter. And I have it set up so that this is filtered to itself so that all of the data within it pops up like the description, like the tags and even the community post. So let's show you how to get this to happen, shall we? If we go into a new page here, I'm going to do a projects and subtasks workflow. So long story short, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have one database. So you're just going to do a slash database inline. I'm going to call it projects. Then you're going to make sure it's in a table view. You're going to press the three dots and do sub items. Now I like to have the sub item called subtasks and the parent item called projects or just project. And then it will make a relation to itself using that. However, then what you're going to do is you're going to make a one extra relation that you're going to use later for filters and you're going to call it self relation filter. Now, as you'll see here, we're going to make a new, uh, new project and we can make subtasks. So subtask one and subtask two. Now you can totally work in this view and it's totally fine. But what if you only want to look at the project itself? And what if you had want to have notes related to the project itself kind of on the page, you can't have only stuff that's related to this project in a nice view or have like a sort of scratch board of this view without it also impacting the other ones there. And it's just a little bit too bulky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and make a new template and go wrench and I'll call it new project. I'm going to pick full width. And actually, first of all, I'm going to copy the link to this page, give it a little emoji, just give it something random. I like having some color. Let's go. Okay. Now we're going to copy the link to this page, go within here, set as default. So this is always what happens with the new project. And then we can paste this in here as a mention, change this to probably like an H two or something and add a little divider. So this just lets us when we're in the project kind of go right back down. And then I'm going to take this self relation filter and add it as minimal. And then I'm going to also hide this show this as minimal. All right. And obviously you can do all the basic stuff like making a status property uh, for your project. That's something totally standard. Having a little checkbox that we can hide here as well. And that's because we're doing a project and subtask situation. So this is the first step here. Now we're not going to quite use the self relation yet, but we'll get there in a second. We're going to go back to this first page, copy the link to this view, maybe give it an emoji. And then we're going to go within here, paste this out, create linked view of database. And then we're going to filter this to self relation filter contains new project. So the first one's always going to be whatever the template is itself. I like to make it an advanced filter so then we can save this. And now we're working with something. Okay. So we can actually hide this status one because we're only going to be working with one project. We can hide this and then hide this guy and nestle in this checkbox and then even hide this and this as well. And then over on the bottom here, or if you want to make dividers and columns, it's up to you. I'm going to do another H3 put or an H2 and put notes. What you can do is you could put a linked database 
to a different database like notes that is related to this, or you can just jot notes down and have like a scratch board area at the bottom here. I personally think a great option would be that having context associated to it, as well as also having some bookmarks for the specific project. So we can silhouette for context and then add a bookmark section. Obviously, if you had linked databases that were connected to this, it'd be very easy to do that. But now what we would do is we'd make a new project. You might be saying to yourself, what is the point of this? Well, the point of this is once we go into here, if we add self-relation filter, then it'll populate the project that we're working in the answer is no, it did not take in the template. It's just taking in the new thing you made. So we can do take out the trash, I'm just kidding, uh, build new roof. And then from within here, we'll get going like on the actual project. So we could make different tasks for subtasks, hire a contractor. But the actual last thing to do, which I did forget was on this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new template. We're gonna do a little checkbox, a little check mark. We'll call it subtask. And then you can set the default for the view within here, only in this table view to subtask. So once again, go to the template, have this only be on the table view. So when we go back inside of this project that we were working on, the build new roof project, and go within it, then anything made under it would be a subtask. And then we wouldn't see any other projects and we can hone in only on this project. And if there was some sort of information that we really would wanna see, we could even, for example, it's just a total example, don't take it, take it with a grain of salt, right? Go here, separate this in two, paste this out, change this from a table to a list maybe. Then if we wanted to see the status, we could, and we could then filter this to something completely different, which would be, say we wanted to add another property where it's a select property, task type, we can do project or subtask, and then, you would be thinking right, the two templates can be changed. So that task type would be project and task type would be subtask. And we could hide this. And for views that aren't table views, we could filter this to self relation contains that and task type is project. So you essentially have the main info of the project right here as a view. You can do this with a gallery view if you want to have the aesthetic on the page have the cover be a roof or something, change the gallery to do it for the page cover. And it's just totally up to you. You can literally just change the aesthetic of everything based on your preference while having different parts of the data showcase in different ways. The not started doesn't have to be here. It could be there right above it if you wanted to. It's just like, it gives you different options. You saw what I did with the descriptions. Notion as a software can be more functional than just only seeing all the properties right up here for the same exact database. It's a different way to work within projects. And this is a different way that you might not have thought of for improving your productivity even more.